Let's go. All right, so today we're going to be using iMovie on the iPad. We're going to use Keynote and Google. All right, so to start, we're going to first go to Google. We're going to grab us a background. Unless you already have a picture in your phone that you want to use already, just go ahead and go to Google. Type in what you want, click images. We're going to do night sky. Find the image that you like. Take a screenshot of said image. Crop said image. And then we're going to save it to our photos. Now we're going to go and we're going to open Keynote. We're going to create a presentation, start an outline. Now, this is where it gets tricky. It's different from the iMac. Double tap on the white bar. You'll see here, I was tapping on everything. I couldn't remember what to do but double tap on the white box and then this will be your screen. Okay, we're gonna tap on the white background on the right side, which is our working area. Click the paintbrush, go over to image, change image, Select the background that you're, cho you're choosing, whether it's the one from Google or one you already have in your phone. Tap anywhere outside of the box. Okay, now we're going to change the text in the top box. So you highlight the box. We're going to hit the paintbrush again. Here you see text. Here you can change the size, the alignment, the style of the text. There's various texts here. Choose what you like. I'm just going to pick something cute and fun. I think I'll go with marker felt. Yeah, that's cute. Let's do that. So now we have our marker. Tap anywhere outside of the screen. We're going to tap the second box below because we don't need it. Then delete. Tap the top box again. We're going to type in what we want to type right across our screen. I'm just going to put something simple. Welcome to my channel. I hope this helps. I really, really do hope it helps. Okay, so now we have that in. We are going to, what are we going to do? We're going to animate it. All right. So once you hit animate, this will be your screen. You're going to hit the three bars in the top right corner to build an order. So when you tap inside of build an order, then tap on your work area. This should pop up. At the bottom, add bill. At the bottom, keyboard. There go your keyboard effect. Now you can play around with the speed. You can also play around with the direction of the text, which I'll show you here. The lower the seconds, the faster the typing will go. The higher the duration, the slower the typing will go. I say about seven is perfect. 
but it's your project. Do what you like. <laughs> I just hope this helps. So you can also, like I said, you can go make the words go backwards, which I don't know why you would, but you can. And it'll look like this. For the sake of this project, we're going to go forward. I just wanted to show you that and we'll get back into it. So seven duration going forward. Tap on the start and then we're going to put after transition. Now we're done with that part. So now we're going to go to Google for the second and last time to grab us some audio because on the iPad we don't have the typewriter effect or the keyboard effect in iMovie or Keynote. So go to Google, type in keyboard sound effect. There are plenty of options to choose from. Just go through these, listen to them, and see if they match your project. Um, on screen record, I couldn't get the sound of what these sound like, but you can see at the bottom, I was trying different ones. So just play around on Google until you figure a one that you like the sound of, and then you're just going to download it. This is the one I downloaded. And then so once it downloads, you're going to go back to... Keynote and export it to iMovie and I'll show you that now So we're back in Keynote Those three buttons in the top right corner Export movie This looks okay to me export This usually takes maybe one two minutes not long. And then this screen will pop up. You're going to share, scroll it over, copy to iMovie, create new project, create new movie, and then it's going to put it there. Roll it to the front. This is what it looks like. And we're going to crop it down. So what I do, I read what I type in my head, and that lets me know how long it needs to be. But first, we're going to add the audio to it. So we're going to go to the plus sign at the top right. See audio. Tap audio. Imported files. There's my typing. Typing on the mechanical keyboard. We're going to hit the plus sign. It's going to add it to our project. Now tap on the audio clip and move it over under your keyboarding. Line it up. You usually have to move the audio a little bit to the right. And so now I'm just trying to line it up. Okay. So once I have the beginning lined up, like I said, I read it in my head and that's how I know where to stop the audio and shorten the clip to. And that's what you see me doing here. And I don't delete it. I split it and drag it over in case I need to use it again. Because if you split it and delete it, you can't extend what you've deleted. You can only extend what you've kind of pushed over and hid. So just line that up to your liking. And then...
it'll come out like this. So I'm just making sure. And when you see the cursor, that lets you know it's the end. So I try to stop the audio where I see the cursor. So watch this. Cursor, end. And then here's your finished project.